cool. Gammy's here. What? Go right to follow her. Good morning. It is August 22nd. Um, I just wanted to hop on here real fast because I wanted to show you that I burnt my cinnamon rolls this morning. Down here is all the tops. <laughs> and there's the, the uh, regular ones. But um, I cook them until the bottom starts brown and then I turn them on broil to brown the top. And I got distracted talking to my mom on the phone and um, burnt the tops. But... Um, I tried scraping it off like you can with toast and it wouldn't so I just went ahead and got my kitchen shears and I just cut the tops off of them and then they were fine after that. So I'm sitting in the living room trying to catch up on some YouTube videos because I'm really far behind and as usual and um, I just ate and now I'm going to put my dish in the dishwasher. I gotta wake Devin up in a little bit because we gotta go to the city next to us. We have to pay our down payment on our car that we got yesterday. Um, <clears throat> They gave us like a month to pay it, but I got my Etsy money today, so we're going to go do that today. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? And I got to go buy uh, Hobby Lobby and get some material. I was going to go to Joann's this weekend, but I don't really want to drive all the way there. Our closest Joann's is 58 minutes away from here, and I don't really want to do that this weekend. <laughs> but um, So I'm going to get more bag stuff to make more uh, bags for the shop. And I can't believe how fast people buy my bags sometimes. Um, I put eight, 28 sets up on Tuesday evening. It was like, it was almost not, it was like 8 o'clock. <laughs> and then by Wednesday morning, there was only three bags left. And that's crazy. And I appreciate it so much because it's helping a lot uh, with us having to get a new car. And the reason we got a new car is because um, our other car... You've seen it randomly in clips. We had a Dodge Journey. I think it was a 2013. Um, and it was a great car. We had it for almost three years. I'm trying to see if anyone's out there. And I need to put some more wax in my wax mount. But um, its transmission was starting to uh, mess up. And uh, we didn't really owe a whole lot on it anymore. So we decided to go ahead and trade it in. And the car dealership um, that we like to go to was having a trade in and trade up. Tail, so they give you like 4000 over the value of the car, which would pay our Dodge Journey off, which it did. And then we just, we um, they said with Devin's credit and all that, because we did it in his name, um, we only we had a really low down payment for a brand new car. So we uh, got a brand new car yesterday. It's a 2019 Honda Accord. It's white. I might try to show you out the door if none of my neighbors are outside. I don't want to be like the weird person filming out my door but um it's a beautiful car and we love it and jesse loves it and it was really sad letting the journey go though when we drove off it was sad because we've had that car ever since jesse was six months old and uh we've been to a lot of places you know we had a lot of experiences with that car so it was sad to drive off and leave it but we got a brand new car that we can have more experiences with and this car has three years of warranties and it's covered and you know we got Everything, you know, it's a good car. <laughs> and hopefully it stays a good car for a while. And that's what we needed was a car that was reliable. And also this one is better <clears throat> safety-wise than the Journey was. Because uh, the Journey's just like, it's, it was kind of an SUV, but it was considered a van. So it didn't have the best safety features and, uh, you know, rollover crashes and all that. And with Jesse in the car, you know, I want it to be as safe as possible. So this car has a whole lot more airbags and safety features and all that jazz. Anyways. I will show it to you. I will try to show it to you now, but if not, I'll show it to you later. But yeah, so we gotta go pay the down payment. I gotta get bag stuff. And yeah, I don't know what else I gotta do.
just literally got done filming no catchy name literally <laughs> now i'm gonna start picking up all my stuff from filming putting it all where it goes picking up my bags right now i showed them i forgot to put my sticker back on the car i took my no catchy name sticker off of the old car and i forgot to put it back on the new car i don't know if it's gonna re-stick if not i'll just have to order another one i think it was like seven dollars but yeah, I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm going to go check and see. Look at this spider. He's so cute. But um, see if my chicken's getting thawed out. I got some chicken thawed out. I'm going to make chicken and enchilada casserole for dinner tonight, I think. I've made it like three times in the last two months, but it's really good. Me and Devin both like it. And um, it makes a lot for leftovers, which is good. Which means if I cook it today, I won't have to cook tomorrow. <laughs> which is always good. But yeah. Well, I was going to try to do the pattern help video that I was uh, gonna ask to do <laughs> for the pretty little ghost pattern but I'm losing my good lighting it's starting to storm outside and my lamp is yellow lighting so it looks really bad when I'm filming it so I'm gonna have to try to do this Sunday if the weather's nicer oh. hey guys I'm working on dinner oh I gotta wash my hands all right now I'm working on dinner <laughs> Get my hands dried I got some chicken here. I just let it cool down a whole lot because I boiled it to cook it. There's a storm of brewing. <laughs> but uh, so now that it's cool, I'm going to shred it with my hands. I know you can do it with a power mixer, but I don't want to dirty my mixer every time I make need shredded chicken. So I just do it by hand. And uh, sometimes I like chunkier shredded chicken. <laughs> but tonight for dinner, I'm making chicken enchilada casserole, which is a recipe that I found, I think, on Pinterest. Um, recently can't remember if I shared it on here before but it's super easy um, all it is is it's got chicken obviously uh, one of the big cans it's like 20 ounces of red enchilada sauce a fourth a cup of sour cream some tortillas I use flour I think the recipe calls for corn but Devin can't eat corn tortillas and um, it calls for corn like loose corn but I've never tried that it might be good but uh, I never have any corn on hand but uh, and then some seasoning for the chicken which is some cumin chili cayenne salt and pepper and garlic and um, you mix those seasonings on the chicken and it's really to flavor because it only makes a little bit right here is the amount <laughs> Um, I think it's half a teaspoon of cumin and then a fourth a teaspoon of the rest of them that I just said. <clears throat> you mix it with the chicken and then you layer it in a pan. Uh, you put tortillas down and then you mix the sour cream with the enchilada sauce. And you put some of that down. And then the chicken, or the chicken in that, which however you want to do it. It's kind of like a lasagna. And then cheese, like shredded. Um, I think I get the Fiesta blend. Cheese and then just kind of layer that like a lasagna. And then you top it with cheese and you pretty much just cook it in the oven until it's all bubbly and melty because the chicken's already cooked when you put it in there so that's what i'm gonna do right now what i do is i um i shred up the chicken into like chunks not really shredded and uh i put tortillas down and then i put the chicken with the seasoning down it's raining <laughs> and then uh, the sauce mixture and then cheese and then tortillas chicken sauce cheese uh, usually about three times I have enough to do it three times and uh, get it melted I hope the power doesn't go out it's supposed to severe thunderstorm <laughs> um, but like I said it's already cooked worst case scenario I'll just have to put it together and put it in the refrigerator until uh, the storms over if the power goes out and um, heat it up later but I'm just trying the chicken now <laughs> I just filmed a no catchy name episode and got it edited it is producing now and then I will upload it if the storm doesn't knock the power out or the internet out <clears throat> and then uh, I'm vlogging still so I will edit that I want to go find some more Halloween type patterns for my craft fair um, I wanted to make uh, the eyeballs that uh, Beth um, Heaven's Peacemaker shared on the Facebook group, but it's only a video tutorial, and I don't really like watching video tutorials. Um, I'd re I would rather read a um, pattern because I watch YouTube videos while crocheting most of the time, 
and uh, I can't watch a tutorial and then watch you know whoever I'm watching but um, I might try to find something similar to that I don't know I need to make some more of those pumpkin bags but I'm a little burnt out on it so I might try to make something else and then go back to the pumpkin the wind is definitely blowing up all I read earlier was that it's supposed to be uh, severe thunderstorms in our area it was raining like crazy earlier but um, now it's thundering and I can hear the wind blowing around all right, I almost got all the chicken thawed up, or thawed up, <laughs> shredded up. Ah, I just threw a piece in the floor. Do I not have a dog? He would have just got a treat. <laughs> okay, I have you guys sitting very awkwardly <laughs> on my stove because I was wanting to cook and talk. So right now I'm about to get the sour cream. It says a fourth of a cup, but I just kind of guesstimate it. <laughs> See what happens. Ugh, I can get it open. Ooh, this is a super easy uh, recipe. I will link it below if I can find the original link. If I can't find the original link, I will. Um, it's probably good. Ooh, did y'all hear that thunder? It's been storming a lot here, which is good because I mean, summer is supposed to storm in summer. But um, most of the summer we haven't had storms. Like this, what we've had um, the last week or two has been. The only storms okay. I'm gonna need a whisk. <clears throat> Got a plastic whisk because I've been having an issue with metal ones rusting. I don't know if it's my water content. My spoon. But you just get the enchilada sauce and mix the uh, sour cream in there real good. It turns into orange color. <laughs> oh god, it smells so good. I love the way enchilada sauce smells. I'm hearing weird noises outside. Almost sounds like a gunshot. Alright, and then I got, a, I always use aluminum foil because it makes life easier. And, whoops. I did spray it with a little bit of cooking spray just to keep it from sticking too bad. And then I got some leftover tortillas. These are on the, the older size, older side. My pen is a 9x13, so it'll fit a whole tortilla and then like half. And then I take the other half and I rip it up and fill in all the gaps. <laughs> so you're basically making a Mexican lasagna, kind of, I guess. I'm just kind of filling all the holes. I'm going to have to get the other tortillas. I thought there were more in there. But then I put down, oh, I forgot to mix the chicken. I'm slacking today. All right. <laughs> now I got the chicken with the seasonings and I just kind of mix it with my hand. They're clean and it's the easiest way to do it. <laughs> But even though it's just a little bit of seasoning, it actually goes a really long way. It coats the chicken really well. I'll show you in just a second. See, it coats it pretty well. So I just take some chicken and throw it down on the bottom. This one might only have two layers in it. I didn't cook as much chicken as normal. Because I used to always cook two breasts. One for me and Devin, in my mind. <laughs> but I, we never would eat it all. We'd always have leftovers. And, um... I, uh, I don't like chicken that's been in the refrigerator. It's got a weird taste to it. So I put the chicken down, and then I take uh, the enchilada sauce and just kind of dump it on there and smooth it out a little bit, kind of like icing. Oh, God, it smells so good already. <laughs> if you love um, Mexican-style uh, dishes, you're going to really like this. Because it's not, this is like an Americanized one so it's not super spicy or something like that all right and then i'm gonna make a huge mess cheese and sprinkle over the top of that and i'll show you that in just a second one reason i love this dish is because it makes leftovers so there's the first layer tortilla chicken sauce and cheese and i'm going to do that all over again okay so there's the second layer it's two layers thick and i'm going to stick it in the oven at 400 until it's melty and bubbly okay so dinner is doing its thing let's look outside i went 
window was dirty. It's getting windy. It was raining, but the clouds don't look too bad right now. I wash these windows all the time, but it's useless because that porch above us isn't solid, so the rain leaks through it, and when it does, it splatters all over the windows. I don't know how bad the uh, storms are supposed to get. I guess I should look that up real fast. I hope I have time to upload my video. I hope I don't start uploading it and the power goes out. That would be so annoying because it takes usually an hour and a half to two hours to upload a No Kitchen Name episode. This one's shorter though, so maybe it won't take that long, but uh, I guess I'll go get it uploading now and we'll see. <laughs>